Hey there YouTube, this is Kelter 2007 Welcome to my hair tutorial um, I know I did promise in my last video to make a tutorial about animation But I'm not quite ready for that yet So I'm gonna create one on um, rendering out Creating and rendering out hair strands in UDK um, We're gonna try to create something a little bit similar to what we have here This as you all know by now is Dom from the Gears of War series uh, my favorite character personally but um, well obviously our hair is not going to be as good as this but um, it's going to be a little bit similar um, what you're looking right now this is a, um, a tutorial on the UDN website and this is actually how I learned how to create um, hair um, using materials and meshes in Unreal, Unreal Engine 3 and um, they have some screenshots here of the workflow how to actually create and render out, this, render out the strands you can see down, down here they have a diffuse and an alpha texture which fortunately is all you need for hair I don't think you need a normal map actually you might but hell no there's no way I'm doing that and um, we're going to be using Maya to create the actual hair, the planes for the hair or well, I'm gonna be using Maya but I figure it's gonna be pretty similar in um, 3DX Max and other 3D um, applications so let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop S um, first thing you wanna do um, you can just create a new document file, no make sure the um, what, what do we call it dimensions are the same for the width and the height um, in this case um, mine I made 512 by 512 I did that just because because it's just hair so um, it's prob I'm probably not going to need a lot of space for it so this is my document I already have the background layer obviously but um, I hid it right now because of um, because I filled it with a gray color now if your hair is gonna be uh, I'm gonna say this right now your hair if your hair is gonna be black or gray you might want to choose another color for this background layer and you find why in a minute uh, my the, the hair for my character she's actually a redhead um, if you can call it a she looks almost like a dude but um, I, um, my strands are red so I made it um, gray so I could see exactly uh, what, I, what I was painting when I paint out the diffuse texture so this is my background I grab the fill tool or fill bucket whatever it's called you wanna grab that go get a color that's um, very different from the color of your hair texture and just fill it out and, and I got white selected sorry I chose grey after that you want to make an you want to make a new layer so come down here click on your new layer um, tab or button and the new layer will, ap will appear um, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the tutorial um, I already this is pretty much gonna be a um, walkthrough tutorial I'm not actually gonna be actually it's not gonna be a walkthrough tutorial uh, I'm just gonna show you what I did I'm not actually gonna be working as we go along so um, I hope it turns out okay and I'm easy to understand um, this was my new layer I already renamed it I called it outline and um, the purpose of, th of this letter is to show you of this layer is to show you where to paint your views for purposes of um, rendering out the hair strands and nothing else you will um, I'll explain that in a minute um, this is my outline layer all I did was um, a brush and just painted out um, some hair strands I made sure the bottom was um, totally was on um, the color or oh, how do I put it well sorry never mind um, I just painted out the hair strands in a bright yellow color after doing that 
cr you create another new layer and this will be your diffuse layer and you grab your brush tool again you want to reduce the diameter of course and you just as you can see right here I just painted um, my strands inside the yellow outline layer now it's almost going to be impossible unless you have enough time to um, make sure that these strands are inside the layer uh, sorry inside your outline but you want to try to make sure you do it as much as possible and make sure they are strands you don't have to um, follow the outline completely you'll see why in a second you can see the outline this entire part of your um, texture is completely yellow but if you look at my diffuse they actually strands I made as many strands as possible you can see the holes right here because my background is gray but you don't have to kill yourself trying to make sure that the outline is, um, is strands and then your um, actual um, diffuse follows it to the letter that's gonna be too much especially if you're painting with a brush like I did so I'll bring back my outline just to show you this once again and um, I want to mention this um, if you're creating a male character with different types of hair or any character with different types of hair you want to make sure you don't just make only one hair texture I did too because mine was a female character all I was interested was in the hair on a herd and I wanted to make sure I had like a short version and a tall version but for those of you that if you want to create like maybe mustache um, sideburns and beard you might want to create more than just these two so I had my diffuse and I made sure it was um, inside my outline we're gonna hide the diffuse now because the next thing you want to do is to create your alpha texture which I already did just create a new layer under your diffuse layer it doesn't have to be under your diffuse layer but and um, grab your magic wand tool select your outline um, while on your new layer grab your fill tool go to your swatches right here select white and just fill it out and this is what I got you can see it's all white go ahead and deselect that now if I hide my outline and bring my diffuse you can see the diffuse is all inside the alpha which is what you want because the purpose of the alpha it tells the engine um, or it tells UDK what part of the diffuse to render at so now we have the diffuse and the alpha next thing you want to do seeing as we already have the diffuse and we, we saw what we're painting we're gonna paint the um, real we're gonna make the real background layer which I already did um, you just create a new layer uh, for this new layer what you want to make sure is that the color of this um, background layer is the same as the color of the hair now you see if I bring it on you can't really make out the diffuse that's because it's the same color this is why I didn't make this layer uh, um, I didn't have this layer to begin with I had another layer that will make the, the um, strand stand out so I can see what I'm painting and this is going to be our real diffuse layer um, after that you want to bring back your outline hide your diffuse grab your quick selection tool again because what uh, what we're doing right now is saving saving out these um, textures so click on um, the um, outline strands I guess the yellow part of your texture make sure you do that for all of the hair hide your outline bring back the diffuse make sure your diffuse layer is selected and right here where you see layers you see there's another there's a channels tab right next to it click on that and then um, 
click on the second button at the bottom of um, this panel which is this box with a circle right in the middle that's going to create a new um, channel click on that channel or you can click on the eye the um, box right next to it and um, sometimes this might not work because um, I just noticed that as soon as I clicked on the channel it hid the other channels if it doesn't do that go right to where it says RGB and click the box right the eye right next to it and it will disappear so it's just gonna have your alpha channel selected your new um, channel which is based on the hair strands then go back to layers oh, I don't know if you need to do that yet make sure you still have diffuse selected go to file save as you name the file whatever you want to call it and then um, I'm just gonna call it a um, hair diffuse you want to save it as a tagger while making sure that you have alpha channels selected go ahead and save you want to save as 32 bits per pixel now we have our diffuse channel saved or diffuse uh, text you saved so deselect the diffuse go back to channels click on the box right next to RGB deselect your alpha for now make sure your hair strands or your outline is still um, marked then um, you can deselect your background or you don't have to do that actually just click on the alpha channel or the alpha text layer sorry not the channel the alpha layer click on the alpha layer make sure it's visible and then go back to channels and do the same um, select your new layer sorry select your new channel and to select RGB so you can see it has a totally black background and a white um, color for the marquee parts go back to layers make sure the alpha is selected again go to file save as and um, name it Um, you see as a tagger I'm calling this hair alpha and you save as 32 bits make sure alpha channels were selected and so now we have our diffuse and um, alpha layers um, textures um, saved so I'm just gonna go ahead and deselect this and um, make sure you save your PSD file before you exit and when we come back we're gonna be in Maya I'll, I'll show you how to render this out in Maya and then take it into UDK so I'll see you guys soon and uh, once again I have to apologize for the way I'm talking I need to really guess I really need to get some rest right now so have fun. Peace.